Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about all the things that I added into my collection in the month of January. This is going to be a big collected haul of beauty, makeup, 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 makeup. There is... I think I effed up. I think I've gone and done like a little boo-boo. Um, you're gonna have to judge me down in the comments, but we're gonna go through all the things that I added into my collection. Most of these I have some thoughts on. I'll show you some swatches. I'll give you some quick reviews. Basically just going through all of it. And I'll also let you know at the end of the video, how much money did I spend? Uh, and I have a sneaking suspicion. It's gonna be a lot. I don't know what possessed me to want to buy everything. I really, really, I do not. Um, somehow, I felt the urge to just review a lot of things. I have not, I think, bought... That is not true. But I bought very few eyeshadow things. I have been mostly intrigued to trying other things, honestly. And I am really soon going to have a couple of, like review roundups in different ways, just showing you and giving you some further thoughts about these products. So I bought a dry shampoo. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Tropical. I love this. Batiste is my favorite um, brand for dry shampoo. I'm fairly sure that I got this one in January, right? This is the Golden Hour Eyeshadow Palette by Colourpop. I, as I'm filming this, I still have not tried this one, but I will somehow. Mine came a little... <sighs> A little smushed up here. It's a super shock, so I should be able to just like... Is it a super shock? Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe it's not a super shock. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's a neutral palette. So this is my thing. I, now I'm, I swatched this. A uh, goldy one. That's... That's really pretty. Okay, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I'm just putting this on my pants. Here's my thing. I have a goal. Hear me out. To, if, every time I tell my friends this, this is the face they give me. My goal is to try and review every review of Colourpop in 2024. And at the end of the year, I'm going to come in and I'm going to let you know which ones are the best and which ones are the worst. Um, I'm going to need you to say a prayer and wish me luck. So, so far, this is the only thing from Colourpop that I haven't tried, but I will, of course, somehow. I did buy quite a few foundations, and I did recently have a video where I was reviewing and going through the foundations that I've been trying as of late, letting me know which ones actually worked out for me and which ones were not worth the hype. This is one of the foundations that I tried. This is the... Oh my god, eyeshadow everywhere. And more than a pretty face from Polite Society. I do have something on TikTok, I think, actually, because it was too long to put either on Instagram or YouTube. I don't know why all of these different platforms have different rules. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I'm doing the best I can here. But it is on TikTok, but I did review this in that video. And I will try and put the video down below. If I have any corresponding videos, I will put them down below. And I will put the um, ranking video of the foundations down below so that you can see. Here's another foundation that I included in that one. This is the Prada Reveal Skin Optimizing Foundation. This is great, but it's $70. 70 I bought some more things from Prada. Why, you ask? Insanity? I have this quad here. It looks like this. I don't even know where the little thing imagings are here, but I did have a video on Prada Beauty. And, oh, I have a lipstick, two lipsticks. Uh, I spent like $300 alone on this order. So this month is going to be, I already know. I already know this month's going to be bananas, but I love Prada. And I wanted to try Prada Beauty. And I'm telling you right now, it did not disappoint. Oh, I did film this look, by the way. It should already be live. I'll try and link it in a pinned comment. Uh, love this one. A lot of people are intrigued by this one. This is in the shade. Oh, it doesn't say here, but it's like the first one. It's shade 01. It's like a cool tone a beige. It's very expensive, but it's also really good. Is it worth the price? Honestly, I can't. I You're going to have to be the judge of that. I don't know what to tell you. It is expensive, though. I also bought some things from Natasha Denona about the Berry Pop Cheek uh, Trio. There is a balm, a cream blush, and a powder highlighter. I've been loving this one. I've been using this so much. I've been loving it. I've been absolutely enjoying it. I think this is beautiful quality. I really like the shades and this one works on my skin tone as well if I just use a light hand. 
I think this one is great. I hope we get to see more trios like this in the same quality in the future. And I also did get the new lip combo and I really, really like it. And I want to use it again. It is a berry red. I think it is berry pop, right? Yes, berry pop. And then the lipstick in berry pop. It's like a muted berry red. And honestly, I really like it. My goal this year has to be using more, as I'd say, as I'm having a clear gloss on, is to be using more vibrant, uh, more distinct color, reds, berries, listen, greens, black. I wore a black lip a couple of days ago. So that's my goal for 2024. So that's why I picked this up. And I will say that collection, if you like the colors, beautiful, beautiful quality. A little expensive, but I did buy that one myself. Another thing that I bought at the Natasha Dona website, and don't judge me. Okay, judge me a little. You can judge me a little. Um, is that I bought, I bought one more. Um, and I bought some mini palettes. I bought four, actually. I bought the mini nude, the mini sunset, and the mini star. I also bought uh, the mini glam. That one I actually brought to LA when I was in LA. My goal is I have tried almost all of Natasha Nona's mini palettes, except some of the older ones. So I decided to pick up the older ones that I didn't have. Most of them are neutral, if we're gonna be honest. And I am gonna be doing a ranking video, basically ranking and letting you know all of the mini palettes, like which ones are actually worth picking up. So expect that to come soon as well. Like I said, I did try the glam palette now that I was in LA. That's the only palette I brought. Is that crazy? Well, I did, uh, that's true. I brought the mini scene on as well, but I will be trying myself through these and just expect a video like that coming soon. I also did try the About Face, the Performer Foundation. Um, I did, again, this one will also be in that video about foundation reviews. Take it or leave it. I could take it or leave it, honestly. I don't think that that one was the best one at all. I did buy another one of this. This is my self-tanner of choice. I self-tan once a week. Either on Mondays or on Tuesdays, I use this self-tanning foam one hour es express from mm, Bandai Sands, and I definitely have cat hair on my lips and I leave it on for one to two hours I take a shower and then I get ready for the day and I only use this between November to April maybe the time of the year where I just am not outdoors basically because I want to keep the same foundation shade all year round that that's honestly my main reason <laughs> I tan very easily in the summer, so if I didn't use this, I would have to have a winter shade and a summer shade, so this helps me keep my summer shade all year round. This is my favorite one. I love this one a lot. I also made an order from e.l.f., and I tried the new, woo, the Pout Click Sticks. These are the Pout Cloud Lip Plumping Pens. I got it in two different shades. Oh my god, this eyeshadow is getting everywhere. I got it in two different shades, and the shade is on the sticker on the back, on the bottom. Not even if my life depended on it, would I be able to tell you what shades those are. I think one of them is toasted and one of them is something mauve. I can't read that. I am way, way, way my, too old to read that. I also got a lip pencil. I've not tried this one yet. This one I got in Baddest Beige. Should I open it? Is it time to open? These, I like them. I prefer ones that are a bit more sheer. They are almost a dead on dupe to the ones from Tarte though. Just letting you know, but with that being said, the tart ones, the ones that are not the clear ones are also not my favorite, but if you're looking for a dupe for the tart ones, these are pretty much a dead on dupe. Again, I do have like, I think it's TikTok again. Again, if they're too long, you can't put them, it's, it's a thing. So this is the lip liner. It seems like a good color. I will of course be using it. I just haven't so far. I also bought some drugstore things uh, here. Um, is this new? I don't think this is new. The Sephora Best Skin Ever. I'm gonna have to look if this is new or not. This is the concealer that I tried. This might be last month. I'm gonna have to double check on that one. And if it is last month, I will just not include it in the amount of money that I spend. I don't like this concealer. I don't think it's good. So I bought a couple of things from the drugstore. I bought the Revlon Colorstay Limitless Matte. Look at this color. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Such a good color. I really, actually, really like this one. This is a new matte form. I loved it. And I also bought the NYX Fix Stick. This is a concealer pen. Under the eyes, absolutely not. But as a spot concealer, because I actually had a couple of pimples that's been going on on my skin. It's been that time of the month. I don't always get a pimple when I'm getting my period, but when I do, 
it's nice to have something like this if you're looking f if you're like me and you don't do a lot of spot concealing or if you're looking for a drugstore option this one it's really good for spot concealing i got mine in soft beige which is a really good color if you're the same skin color as me this one is really good. And I also tried, out of a recommendation from you, the Physician's Formula Butter Brazilian Brow Lift Brow Gel. Because you said that this is a dupe for the Patrick Ta Brow Elimination. Exact same applicator. Exact same applicator. And is that one up yet? I don't know if it's up yet, but I did film a TikTok, a reel, wherever it's going, using this one. And it is good. It is really good. If you love the Patrick Ta one, but you want to find an affordable alternative, this gives pretty much the same result. And I am very impressed with this one. Um, if I have the real slash TikTok, uh, if it's already uploaded, I will leave a link to it down below. Other than that, like it's coming, but this is good. The one who said that this is a dupe, they were not lying. I also bought this one. This is the, I said, I wanted to try all the products. This is the new concealer from Femty Beauty. I got it in... It's the Wear Even in 22 uh, 5N. I think this is too thick. If you loved the Natasha Denona concealer, you might love this one because I dislike this one for the exact same reason as the Natasha Denona. It is creamy, it is pigmented, it is fully opaque, but it is too thick. So on me, even if I use a little and even if I powder it down, it will look either heavy and or creasing and i just can't avoid it so if you have the same kind of under eyes like me this one is a little bit too thick for my liking but i've seen a lot of people with less under eye wrinkles and less loose skin than me really loving this one so for me it was a little bit too creamy a little bit too much here's something that i've also i bought this mainly for the name and this i'm actually going to take this out of the packaging because i have used this one and this is from thrive cosmetics and this is the sheer strength hydrating lip tint this is in the color kaisa and if you didn't know our rescue dog's name is kaisa so i bought this mainly because it is the same name as her same spelling as her so clearly i needed it needed it but it was very expensive it was very expensive but i'm happy i bought it i, I liked it and again i have filmed like something I'm trying to do first impressions on like real TikToks and then I will come back and do like review roundups. Um, probably the next video I have on my channel um, will probably be either a trying new makeup or a review because I'm filming both of them probably even before this one is going up because I'm pre-filming this a little bit, but there is going to be a review roundup and I will include a couple of these things that I've used a little bit more and made up my mind about. I never say never if you've been on my channel you know this i never say you need this i never say run like run don't walk i never say that i'm obsessed to the point that you need to buy it. you don't need anything but sometimes i will tell my friends that and i think during our friendships like me heather and karen during our friendship i think twice i have said actually i think you need this and this is one of them the juvia's place shimmery blushes I have it on today. That's what's going on here. Oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Immediately after I used this, because I used this a day, I've just used it once. And so far, I've had it on all day. So far, beautiful. But immediately after I used this, I went on Polo. I told my friends, listen, I never tell you that you need something, but you might need these new shimmery blushes from Juvia's Place. And I also went and looked, because I have soft tulip glow. And I went on the website and I was like, do I need another color? And that's when you know that I'm really enjoying something when I'm like contemplating, do I need a second color? This is a warm pink with the golden glow. I am very impressed. Very impressed with this. I really, really do enjoy it. Something that I also bought, I made one more order from Sephora. Technically, I do think that this might be February, but I will let it slide because I think I might have bought it before but it definitely arrived in February. But I made a Sephora order and I bought two things. I bought the Secure the Glow. I have not used this yet from one size. This is a slightly gripping primer that is supposed to hydrate your skin without leaving it like super greasy. It is a tacky hydrating primer and I am intrigued because I love the idea of a hydrating primer, but I don't want it to be like slick, greasy feeling. So my makeup just goes off. So I'm excited. 100% uh, agreed, skin feels hydrated all day, provides healthy looking glow, smooth skin texture. I'm excited. I am excited. I will be trying this one out 
I just got it. I have not tried it yet. I also did buy the new scent from Killian, and this is the Born to Be uh, Unforgettable. I have a Coca Cola fragrance. It's basically the top note is, or the, the main note is Fizzy Coke drink. And it is from Paris. LA and it is, no, it is Paris LA from Lab on Fire. Okay, that's the scent. And it is the most perfect fizzy Coke drink. This one is good, but it has a lot of cedar wood. It's very woody. So I wish it was a little bit more fresh and a little less woody. I still think it's good. I still think it's good. And if you, if the first one it comes on, it's very zesty. It's very like a Coke with a lemon slice squeezed into it. It's very, it's very zesty. And then you almost like all you can smell is the cedar wood, like the, the woody, like it almost, it's too much. It's too heavy, but then it dries down a little bit and you can smell the, uh, the sweeter, spicy, fizzy Coke drink in the, in the mix. I wish they had not made this as heavy because I am a little bit like, ambivalent of like, do I love it or do I just met it? So I'm still trying this one on, but I'm just letting you know that if you were looking for a more a fresher fizzy coke drink, if you had smelled the Paris LA from Lab on Fire, this is not that. I still would recommend that one over this one. I don't think it's bad. It's just not 100% what I was expecting. I also have, ooh, my paper is gone my scent bird paper. I don't know where it is, but I always have a scent bird and I pay for this myself. Oh my God, I can't get this open. I need help. So I have a scent bird subscription myself. I do pay for scent bird and this one is, oh, it's in mind games checkmate. Scent bird, I, I work with them every now and then. I do sponsorships with them and they asked me what scents I wanted. And like the silly woman I am, I told them one of the scents that I've already ordered for myself. So now I have two of the Mind Games um, Checkmate uh, scents. It is a really nice scent though, but did I need two? No, but it's also a little bit unisex. So I think I will be giving this one actually to my husband so that he can use it and I can have one for myself because it is a little bit more unisex. I just, I didn't need two. That was, that was silly of me. I should not have done that. I. I don't know why I did that. Why did I do that? That was what I bought. As you can tell, it was a lot. We'll talk about how much it was at the end. Um, but like, as you can tell, I've actually used most of this. Uh, have I, is that, is that an excuse? Maybe, that might be an excuse. But I've been really loving trying out concealers and foundations and stuff like that, for sure. And this one? Let's talk about some PR that I have gotten and let's tr I'm not gonna mention everything I've gotten in PR. I will say I've been getting a lot of PR as of late and some things that just don't even make sense. So we're just not, we're, let's not talk about the things that don't make sense. But I did get the Glamlight and Betty Boop collection. I went to the Glamlight launch party when I was in LA and this is how the palette looks. This is a beautiful palette. More beautiful than I thought it was gonna be. Now that I have it, it's really a stunning palette and I'm so excited about this one. I think this is already one of my favorite palettes actually from um, Glamlight. It's, it's really stunning. And then it is the Blush Duo, it looks like this. And one of my favorite things from the collection, the lipstick. The formula, the formula? It stayed on all day. It was smooth. It was not drying or tugging. It was beautiful on the lips and I need this formula in a million colors. Thank you. I still have it in here, but I also have the Colourpop and this is the Valentine's collection that they came up with. I have tried this blush uh, since I filmed the video. I didn't use it in the video, but I have used it since. This new lip and cheek balm. I thought that this was gonna be sheer because it was bomb. It is not sheer. It is not sheer and it's pretty glowy on the skin without looking greasy. I'm actually really impressed with this formula. I like this so much more, so much more than I like the cream blush formula that they came out with last year. This is so much better and I really, really enjoy the palette as well. I can feel like there is hairs everywhere. This is the Lost in Love and this is what it looks like. 
I really like this kind of a color scheme. This color color scheme makes me really happy. I enjoyed what I've done with this palette. I think it is a beautiful palette. And per usual, ColourPop does really good Valentine's collections and this was no exception. I felt a little bad about this collection. This is the Finding Ferdinand and Khaki round two. So I have them all here. I got mine a couple of days later because they have my old address, so like, I don't know, UPS or USPS with like looking for my new house. So I got mine a little later and when I this got to me, I had a bunch of packages that I really did not have time to open because it's tax season. I knew I was going to LA, I was just swamped. And I was like, I'll just take a picture of this and talk about it when I get home. But it sold out so quickly. So I did not even have time to talk about this before it sold out, but it looks beautiful. And I heard that they're not restocking. I will say this gloss, this is in... Oh, that's hard to read. Hold Cocoa? I think it's Hold Cocoa. It's a cool tone brown. Why is this so beautiful? Why, why is this so beautiful? This is stunning. This one has some shimmer, but this one does not. This looks divine. And then there is a bunch of new uh, cream blushes. They are more like cool tone reds, which is what Khaki really likes. I like things that are a little bit more warm tone on the cheeks. I don't mind a cool tone lip though, especially not a beige like that. I think that's absolutely beautiful. I haven't had the time to do anything with this. And it's sold out and they're apparently not restocking. So congratulations to your success. Uh, it looks absolutely stunning. I'm not surprised that people are loving it. I just don't really know myself um, what to do with it now. But I mean, the glosses, those are mine. Nobody gets those. That cool tone brown. I should wear that now. But I'm already wearing gloss. Stunning. If you are thinking, wow, Angie, you are a little glowy. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. I am a little glowy. And it is because I am trying out the new HD Skin Hydra Glow from Makeup Forever. They did send me this foundation. They sent me two different shades. They sent me a yellow and a neutral, a light medium yellow and a light medium neutral. I am wearing the neutral one today. It is a great shade match and it is the same shade that I wear in the non-glowy one. This foundation, this is first impression. I've worn this, I put this on in the morning or like late morning and I've worn it for what, six hours? Glowy. It is less coverage than the non-glowy one. This is, I would say this is a light medium. The other one is a medium full coverage. I mean, it, it is glowy. It, it does dry down somewhat. It takes almost a couple of hours for it to dry down. I don't feel like it's like greasy or like it's not sliding off my face, but it is definitely glowy. So if you have dry skin, if I don't know, it, I think it's too much for me. I didn't powder my entire face or use a mattifying primer under when I used it. And I will of course be trying out more, but first impression, it's glowy, not greasy, not like slipping off my face, but I mean, you can tell it's not matte. I quickly want to mention this one. I want to do something with this so bad. Makeup Revolution sent me their new brow thing. And this is the Lift and Define 5D Lash, whatever that means. But it is a, like a lash thing. Wait, I thought this was for, so this is mascara. I thought this was the brow. Imagine me putting in this one in my brows and making black brows. I thought this was for, oh my God. Okay, so this is a mascara. Imagine me putting that in my brows. Okay, so that's a mascara. Mistakes were avoided. This is the brow thing. This is in blonde. It is, oh, oh, they also made one of these. Okay, these seem to be very popular right now. I'm guessing there is a retailer that the brands are using that are doing this because uh, Maybelline has been doing it and now um, Makeup Revolution is doing something similar. Um, these are usually like a good idea, but usually a little product. So just be prepared. Actually, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. This, they sent me blonde and I'm very, very grateful. Cannot wait to try blonde. Imagine me putting the mascara in my brows. That would have been a video. I did get the new two new palettes from Bella Butabor. This is the ultraviolet that they did together with Deandra Nicole. I do have some swatches and I do have a reel on this one. It is beautiful quality, beautiful like shades. If you love purple, I'm sure you're really gonna enjoy this one. And then I got the Dead Roses palette. And this one I have not used on my eyes as I'm filming this, but I have done some swatches on it. So I'm gonna have to, of course, play a little bit with this before I, this is why I should not be buying eyeshadows uh, before I give you my thoughts on this. But I can tell you right now, the way that this swatches, it's very similar 
to um, the way that everything from Bella Beauté Bar swatches. It swatched beautifully. I also have this one from BD Signature. This is the Blooming Basket Palette. Uh, it looks like this. I used this in a Get Ready With Me with um, Rachel, who is editing this video, and it is over at Rachel's uh, channel if you were interested in seeing this in action. I can put up a swatch picture though, stunning. But still, I di they did do some changes with the mattes. I've only used a couple. They're still not my absolute favorite matte formula, but definitely feel like she's um, come a longer way to perfecting that, let's say. This is the New Zealand Stargazing Palette by Nomad. I have a tutorial up, like a short on this one as well. I did something beautiful with this one here, like a purple. I've been really into like doing more purpley things as of late. This is a nice palette, but every shade, it's almost like it's leaning a little gray. And that's not my favorite. I will say though, I need to do something more with this one. It is like a peachy gold, almost like duochrome, multichrome thing. It's so beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I think the quality of this one is beautiful. There are some really interesting shades in here. Just that everything is leaning a little gray and that's not my favorite. I really hope the next thing they do is a little bit more warm tone because I feel like they've been doing a couple of things now that have been a little bit more on the gray side. We also have the Aurora lights here. Same here. I do have a tutorial on this one. This is just such great formula. Personally, I wish that the shades here were sm like a smidgen lighter because I need something that's slightly lighter than this to perfect or like perfect. Look. I'm not perfecting any looks, but to like finish up a look. But that's just a personal preference as well. It's not that hard for me to go in with like a pastel of any kind, but the like they're oh, I really like their quality. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And I love the theming, Aurora Lights. I think that's really fun. This one has not been uh, announced yet, but I think it will have as this video goes live. And this is the new collection from um, Fantasy Cosmetica. And this is the Wizard palette. And it is a blue palette with a pop of like vanilla yellow. I love this color scheme. I think it is so, I love a blue. I love a blue eyeshadow and I love that it's like such a nice clear blue with the vanilla. As I'm filming this, I have not had time to play with this one. I've only done some swatches, but it's swatched really pretty. This one here, it's called uh, Graviturgy. Turgy? I honestly don't even know what that is. It is a holographic shadow. It is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. There's also like a, I want to... I think she is calling it a highlighter palette. It's called Celestial Light. I will say these are very intense, almost to the point that they're like eyeshadows. They're very, very intense. I have not used this one on, I was gonna say my eyes, but I've not used them on my cheeks either. But just swatching them, I was like, oh, that's intense. That is very intense. There is supposed to be like a fragrance with that one here somewhere as well. So when I see it, we will, We'll do it when I see it. I have these here though. These are the Smashbox face palettes and they did send me all four of them. So this is the uh, Sculpt and Glow face palette and they come with a little paper on the inside and this is what they look like. And all of them have kind of a like a sculpting bronzing product, two blushes and a highlighter. This one has Prosecco Pop. So they have a Becca highlighter in there. I know that we keep forgetting, but Smashbox did actually get a couple of the Becca formulations um, for to keep for themselves after they went uh, bankrupt. I wonder, well, they didn't get bankrupt. They like, when they closed down. This has Rose Quartz. I think the one with Prosecco Pop is the one that I'm going to be keeping. This one has Sea Pop, which is Champagne Pop. I don't, does anyone know why they're not calling it Champagne Pop or they're calling it Sea Pop? Does anyone know? This is the lightest one. So this is a lighter bronzer. Do, do we know why that is? Because I have no idea. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But did I need all four? Probably not. I'm going to, of course, give the other ones away. But we'll try one of these in a video as well soon. Soon-ish. Do you see how glowy I am? I'm melting. Ooh, Colourpop Twilight. 
This divided the internet in the most vicious way. Colourpop sold out of this one super quick. As I'm filming this, they have not restocked it yet. Uh, a couple of these places I have codes with, and there will pop up some codes with the places that I have, as you can see it, and I'll also put it down below in the description box. But the Colourpop and Twilight have not restocked again since it sold out immediately. And I tried to buy it too, because I love Twilight, and I wanted to own this collection. I also thought that this... I seem to be I don't want to say that I'm in a minority because it did sell out so clearly I was not the only one who thought that this collection actually looked really nice with that being said I've already said I don't love shadows that lean a little gray tone I'll review them I'll tell you if the quality is good or not then usually the warm leading shadows are my favorites and I will say these are beautiful I really like this palette I thought it performed really good I've done two different looks with this one and I liked both of them really nice. And I will try it again before I give like my final verdict on it. But so far, so good. I've done a green look. I've done a blue look. I really like it. Is this my favorite color scheme? No, because I don't like cool tones as much as I love like gray shade shadows that have like that gray cast on them. I don't love that as much as I love other shadows. But if I'm going to look at this and be like, is it good for the color scheme that it is? I think it is. You can make full looks on this. There's different formulas in here. It definitely represents the the atmosphere of the like the first movie would i have wished that they would have done it on the books instead of the movies yeah maybe i like the books way more than the movies but for what it is i don't think it's bad at all my favorite thing of that collection though is let's see if i can find the other ones the uh, lip oils those are my favorites of the entire collection this is the one that's uh, team edward the blue one there is a black one there is a red one lip oils from this collection beautiful they're really really stunning and yeah i hope they restock it soon i'm sure they will i'll let you know when i know i also got this one from glow recipe i wanted to buy this one and it was out of stock at sephora and then when i came home i had it in pr so i mean guess lucky me for not buying it this is the cloudberry uh, bright essence toner i have only used this once so i will of course let you know more about this if it turns into being a favorite but i have not used a lot of like essences or toners or stuff like this but this this is supposed to like amplify the things that it's used together with so it's like making the other ingredients of the other products that you're using this with even better so i'm excited to be using this one a, a bit more now that i can put it out of the haul basket but i don't know have you tried that one have you tried an essence is that part of your routine last palette i think i think this is the last palette this is the dreamer palette by unearthly cosmetics Again, this is a little bit more of a cool tone palette. Cool tones have been so popular. We'll say though with this one, there is a couple of shades here that do not have a gray leaning like tone on them. This is a warmer pink. This is more of a true dark smoky purple. Uh, so some of these shades here do not have that gray tone at all on them, which is something that I prefer. And I like the palette that can go either way. The quality of this one is beautiful absolutely stunning quality really really love it it's a little bit expensive uh, yes um but the quality is really beautiful i had a lot of fun with this one i love the look that i filmed with this one. Oh, so beautiful oh here's the other lip oils the red one and the black one i think the red one is my favorite i love a sheer red lip and this one is stunning this is the bells one yeah bells absolutely recommend this one i think there is one more of these but i don't know where they are but colourpop released some of their multi-chrome liners these i actually bought myself i bought them from ulta these are really nice i think these are very good quality are they as good as the kaleidos ones no i would not say that but I definitely think they hold up to them and they are way more affordable and a little bit easier to get a hold of. But if you're looking for the best, I think I've only tried a couple. I've only tried a couple, but I do still think the Kaleidos ones are slightly better. But these are good too. I hope that makes sense. Oh, here is something that I actually bought myself. I should put that in the pile of the things I bought myself. This is from Flower Beauty and this is the Ultra Light Liquid Blush. I bought mine in Toasty. It is one of those poofy things. And if you did see the video where I'm trying this one, you saw how impressed I am by this one. This, stunning. I did not like the highlighter that uh, Flower Beauty did in this packaging, but the blush, it's beautiful. It's not shimmery though. This is a matte blush, but it has that gel texture and it looks stunning on the cheeks. Almost a little bit glowy without being greasy. This is nice. Here's my thing from um, 
Scentbird, the one with the checkmate. So this is Champagne, Magnolia, Rose, Bulgarian, Tabak, Bourbon and Santal, if you didn't hear it before. It's like a boozy perfume that has a little bit of rose in there, but it's definitely like boozy. So this is the fragrance that is from The Wizard. This is a grassy, citrusy scent and it is very... I don't want to say like, oh, it's very unisex. This is almost leaning a little cologne. It is nice. It definitely smells like grass, which is something that I love. You know that my thing is I want to smell like a sophisticated piece of grass. It's very citrus. It's very zesty. Like it hits you with citrus and it is a little bit like a cologne almost. So it's nice, but I think my favorite so far has been their fruity one. I really like that one. This is nice too, but it is surprisingly masculine. I found one more thing that I bought, which is the uh, satin lipstick by Makeup by Mario. I bought this like burnt coral thing. I, I keep calling it burnt coral, like that's the name, but here we are. I got it in Uptown Girl. This is a really nice formula. It's actually really, really beautiful. I hear a lot of people talk about Makeup by Mario in a way where I'm like, mm, I really should be trying more things from the brand. So that is definitely a brand that I'm keeping my eye on. I want to try more things from the brand. Not only like new things that are coming out, I also want to go back and try some of the older things from the brand. Let me know which ones are your favorite items from Makeup by Mario. Okay, let me talk about one more thing and then I really don't want to talk about makeup anymore. There's a couple of more things here, but honestly, let's keep it at that. This is exciting because this is a brand that I don't think I've ever tried. And this is an Australian like sunscreen brand, I think, but they do have skincare as well. This is Naked Sundays and this is their like glow product. This is an SPF 50 like illuminating serum drops. And you can see that there's this one that is an illuminating with gold. Then we have this one that is a bronze, that's a little bit more, yeah, bronze as you can see. I think you can see the difference here. And then you have this one that is pearl, that's more like a pinky. I am dying to try these. I, I'm i so excited. It seems like they're one of those like, let me see if I can do the golden one, right? Illuminating. I feel like these are going to be almost like those like broncino uh, drops. Oh wow, that's a lot. But maybe like maybe like with a sunscreen as well oh that is light that is that is light did i need something that was a little bit and i think i used way too much i mean not for a sunscreen but like for an illuminating pro okay wait that looks beautiful wow that now it looks so juicy okay that's intriguing. Let me go and do some math and I'll come back with a number, but I can already tell you, ooh, it's gonna be high. I literally had a 40 minute break where I was doing some maths and eating pretzels. And now I'm even more glowy. Like I, <laughs> I'm so glowy. <laughs> okay, I did the maths. Nobody is surprised that I spent a lot of money on makeup this month. I bought Prada. <laughs> I bought Prada. I bought a lot of makeup. I have been very excited. I mean, I have it here. I've been very excited about trying some of these makeup. I also, of course, like redid some, like bought some dry shampoo and some um, sunless tanner stuff that I like actually want. And the, this fragrance was not affordable in any way, shape or form. I've just gotten to the point where I've been really enjoying trying every kind of makeup product and not just eyeshadows not just lipsticks but other things too and i actually found a couple of things that i did include it in my uh, calculations i bought two lip products from charlotte tilbury and i actually bought two more foundations i know i bought the covergirl simply ageless um this like sheer skin tint i bought that in medium and i also bought the laura mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation i got this one in camel these were also included in the foundation i was doing like a ranking of the last ones i tried spoiler these two are on top and that's why these two were in my makeup bag that i brought to la that's why they weren't included but i did include them in the calculations of how much i spent i also bought when Charlotte tilbury released new lip products a lipstick and a lip liner i got both of them in i think mark of a kiss yeah it's like a warmer slightly like classic hollywood but like a little warmer it's a beautiful color i wore this to the betty boop and glam like launch party really really beautiful so the amount of money that i spent okay let me actually uh, 
this is gonna be a quick disclaimer. I messed up the months a little bit when I've been doing the last three months and I've been comparing it with the wrong months. So I've been comparing like November with December and December with January. And I re realized that now when I was almost comparing January with February and I'm like, what am I doing? So I'm going back and I'm gonna compare January to January. But last month I unfortunately compared December to January. It is what it is. It is what it is. But last January, I spent $388, which is a lot of money on makeup, but honestly, not that much when you take into consideration that this is me like spending to keep my job afloat, basically. Like my job here is to be reviewing and talking about makeup with you. So 388 last year, 2023, I didn't feel so bad about that. The year before it was $982.88, which is bonkers, but that is nothing because this month, a thousand and seven um that a thousand dollars and seven um that's a lot of money i mean that is a lot of money um i will say i'm not going bankrupt i do make more than a thousand dollars a month uh so i'm definitely still able to pay rent i'm not uh, not even rent anymore mortgage i'm not worried but it's definitely way more than I would like to spend on makeup. So I got to reel it in a little bit. Okay, I got to reel it in a little bit. But with that being said, I have been very excited trying the new complexion things that have been coming out. So I think what I am going to try and do, I did already buy one thing for February. I did buy the mystery box for Unearthly Cosmetics. I did buy that one. That one had an eyeshadow palette in it. What I'm going to try and do is to not buy any eyeshadow in February. <gasps> That's my goal, because if I don't do that, I don't think I'll have a problem like reviewing the stuff that's coming in. So I'm going to try and not buy any eyeshadow anymore. I did already buy the unearthly one. I'm going to do a video on the mystery box. When is that one coming? I couldn't even find my tracking. But that tells you something, but as soon as I have it, I'll do a video about that. But I'm going to try and not buy any more eyeshadows so that I can actually, if I end up finding a lot of other things I want to review, I have time to review everything I bought. Because there is um a couple of things here that i bought that i haven't had time to review such as the golden hour palette and of course a couple of the mini palettes by natasha nona but i will get to that and those mini palettes i will do in a separate video for sure but i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know did you buy anything this month what was your favorite thing that you bought don't judge me too hard i've been just really loving makeup that's gonna be that's the honest truth i've just been really enjoying makeup i've been really excited about makeup and if there's one thing that i am not going to apologize for it is really enjoying my job and unfortunately that meant that i spent a lot of money this month so i will really try to not do that next month i'm gonna do my best hold me semi accountable but i hope you're having a great day and i will see you again in my next video which is going to be really soon bye